So hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm really sorry for having not put out videos for a while. I've been going through, you know, family troubles and other bullshit. Um, but that's all out the window. Got rid of it. You know, it's out the window. But um, for a bit of an update as to like some of the things going on, um, my parents obviously haven't went and go do their freaking surgeries which I've been getting on them for um obviously my dad refuses for his reasons um I'm going to be scheduling my mom soon um but we have to make sure that uh her heart and her brain are okay first uh so I mean if you've seen some of my snapchats and whatnot um I've explained uh what was going on for both of the um for the appointments so for the let me see not the neurology for the radiology it was just like a consultant if you will to see you know what's been going on to see uh to come up with what test she needs to get taken so she has to get an echo and a oh, what's the other one? What's the other one? um it's on the tip of my tongue I think it's called nuclear uh, test done. I kind of freaked out. Let me sit down. <laughs> I kind of freaked out at first about the nuclear. Damn, this is weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do this. Don't mind the drawing in the background. It's for my niece. But um, the echo is just to uh, see how her pathways and her heart are doing. Make sure the valves are working correctly. She has had palpitations, which is where the heart kind of beats a little weird instead of it beating completely it'll beat here so the top two valves will be completely off beat from the other two so it's almost like it's having like a mini seizure uh usually it'll last no more than like a few seconds for my mother um and it can be confused for atrial fibrillation which is when obviously the heartbeat is fast and will slow down along with um, having a weird rhythm. Um, so she's supposed to get those tests done along with the fact that she has high blood pressure. So she's on new blood pressure medication. And then as far as her brain, if you will, I've noticed that she's her memory has gotten worse. Uh, at one point she came out of her room three times for one thing and she could not remember what it was. Uh, she'll tell me the same thing several times in the same day, not remembering that she's already told me. And it's come to a point where she's also forgotten that she's left stuff, that she's left stuff on a stove. Um, which is why I'm kind of scared of leaving her in the house by herself. But my sister's here, so I shouldn't have to really worry. But those are things that's been going on with her. Um... This is the reason why I haven't gone to start school yet because I want to make sure that all of this is done first before I go to school. Uh, at least after her surgery. So this way, you know, she gets her bed rest, she recovers and all that. Then I can go to school. Because um, I don't have to worry about it going on while I'm in school and the appointments and stuff. And I end up missing school and then not graduating on time. Um, but my dad, he's not doing... He doesn't want to go in for his surgery because he doesn't want to be homeless because it keeps him out of work for six weeks because that's how long the recovery is. And it's like, I have to do with one parent to make sure that's going on well so then I can go to school and work and whatever so then I can then take care of the other parent. And it's hard to be the only one kind of dependable with two sick parents because it, it is a pain in the behind. And there's a lot of things you have to put to wait as much as you want to have your priorities and order it kind of throws things in kinder and you can't put things in the order you want them to be um i don't know about you guys but i'm not ready to let my parents go at all um i've actually broke down on several occasions behind this um but we're not gonna get into those well that's what's been going on i just want to to let you guys know what's been going on because you know I've been I've not been posting 
at least on YouTube. Um, but it's been a great big pain in the behind. I mean, you're the only daughter that you know is dependent on, even though you know I haven't entirely got my own head out of my own ass yet. It it makes things difficult. And a lot of other people don't have to worry about these things, and they should be very glad and grateful. Um, but I have old parents, if, if you can say so. Um, my parents are damn near 60. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I have to deal with and take care of here. And it's hard to, because it's like I want to work to make sure all the bills and stuff are, that are here, you know, paid. And that, you know, I can get my daughter what she needs and stuff. I can't right now as much as I would like to. And my mom's like, oh, but you can just go to work and just go to school. And I'm like, no. Because every time I do, something ends up happening. And look, I was this close to doing school. It's a good thing I didn't go and pay for it and everything yet. Because then I would have paid for it and I've been missing school. Because her appointments are like midday. And I plan on being in school full time, at least. So I don't mind doing full time school to, you know, help and get it done, and then do part time work so I can have little something to take care of bills and stuff. Because you know, with my bills, I have a lot. I will be the only one paying out of out of pocket for bills, technically speaking. Besides, like what help we get here, but um. I will be doing it by myself. And there's a lot of people who also do it, you know, kudos. And people who don't, you're never gonna understand. Um, until you finally do. But I'm gonna start off with at least the stuff in the house first. And then, you know, I'll work my way up. I just finished like moving around and stuff in my room, but right now my room's a little bit of a mess. Like I have like some clothes up here from when I was looking for something to wear. And a hamper shoes places my kitty's over there sleeping well then well at least she knows what I'm going through girl I guess was being disrespectful and not minding her business <sighs> my ball can get pretty ratchet but you know I, to tell you, I keep my ass upstairs I don't stay I don't go outside like that but I do go outside because I'm actually going somewhere and it's usually far from here so oh and I forgot to tell you guys happy pride if you haven't noticed from the eyes I will be posting this later. By the time I post this, it'll probably be like later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna try to keep doing the post on the weekends, at least on like Sunday or something. But um, yeah. So happy Pride, you guys. Uh, sorry if the video's like, well, I guess long, if you will. I see eight minutes going here. Um, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Um. And, oh, I do have a, well, I can't say new page because technically it's not a new page, but it's a like page. Like, I have my Facebook profile page for my usual stuff, and then I have a page, like a like page. So, if anything, I'll definitely leave that in the description bar below. Um, because having Facebook, it eats my battery. And because it's Facebook and I want to see everybody's posts, you know, I'm on in and it uses up, like, the data and whatnot. Because my phone doesn't run on Wi-Fi. I have a paid phone bill. But, um, I need to get a better phone for this to work out better. Like, I would love to be able to use some of the Snapchat filters, but with my phone, I can't do that. But I'm grateful to have a phone that, you know, calls <laughs> without Wi-Fi. Um, but... I'll definitely put that in the description bar for you guys. Um, but as far as I want to think about it now before you know I get to out there with the videos. But as far as like what I want to call my subscribers, um, I guess y'all can come up with that. I mean, if I come up with something, then you know 
if you like it you guys let me know um if i'm gonna try to share what i can with you guys i do want to try doing you know tutorials on this at least on this look i didn't get to take any pictures to do a pictorial for you guys but i definitely want to get into doing my videos a little bit more regularly at least take like one day to i mean if i even have like an hour to myself i'll try to record something and like i said i won't be able to really edit i have this one fly in my room because they put the garbage downstairs and my room is literally five floors up where they dump the garbage out for the garbage day and today's sunday and come on damn it kitty can you get the fly but it's sunday and they come pick up on mondays and Mo monday and friday that they pick up but um sorry this video is a little long but i thought i'd get something out to you guys i'll definitely see you guys next time okay bye